Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? It is, I was going to say Sunday, but it's Monday. It is Monday, September, what is today, the 6th? I'm so off, check my watch, yeah, it's the 6th. <laughs> how's everybody doing? So today I decided I was going to make more of these fall rocks. This was this past week's tutorial on Tuesday and I love them. I think you guys liked them, so I decided that I'm going to make some more. So I kind of base coated a few rocks with some gesso, and now I'm going to start by adding that brown on the bottom. It is a, let's see if it'll focus here, territorial beige is what we're working with. And so once you're there, let me know. Um, go ahead and post a comment if you can. Oh, I hope I set this up correct. Wouldn't that be awful if I did not? Let me make sure that I did. I sure hope I did. Um, let me check. I'm going to do a test comment. Looks like... Okay. It's working. So when you guys show up, let me know. Say hi in the comments. We had some fun discussions last week. Let's... Uh, do it again. All right, so I'm going to get started base coating with this territorial beige. My ring light broke <laughs> right before I started, so I it's literally on top of my little um I don't even know what you call this thing, the thing that's holding my phone and the camera on there. It's taped <laughs> on there with a nice it's very uh Boot, bootleg bootstrapped we're bootstrapping it today but that's okay so oops, I'm gonna jump there that's okay I'm hoping the lighting will be better I did order a couple new lights and they were supposed to be here on Friday and then they got delayed and we're supposed to come today and now it looks like they're not coming till tomorrow so maybe the next live stream will have a little better lighting the sound should be a little better on this one I played with the microphone and adjusted um, what direction it was pointing. I didn't realize it could be moved last week when I was working with it, so I adjusted the direction so it's point. it should be, whoops, maybe. Ah! I'm going to lose everything here. It's pointed at me this time, so hopefully the sound is a little better. I think it was pretty quiet last time, but we should be better. So I'm hoping everybody's having a good week. We have continued with some difficult... I guess the national and the world headlines are, are pretty tough and we have been going through our own little news cycle in this area because we are pretty close to Lake Tahoe and we've made the national news because um, there's a pretty big wildfire going on up there um, and it evacuated Tahoe basically, South Lake Tahoe and so that was um, kind of the crisis of the week and the smoke is is everywhere and homes were threatened and it was awful but I, I think I saw that people are getting to go back to their homes today and I think the I haven't seen the last containment I think it's been a day or so and I think it was up to like 40 something percent um, and that they had kind of stopped the forward movement of it so it was not headed towards Tahoe anymore so people were getting to go home so that's good um, there is another big wildfire in Northern California, the Dixie wildfire that I think is approaching a million acres, which is just mind blowing to me and very sad. Um, it has taken a lot of structures, a lot of land, and it's just very, very unfortunate. So hopefully the weather is gonna cooperate and they will get that under control. Hi, Catherine, welcome, it's good to see you. Glad you joined today. You guys got to tell me if you brought some painting along or if you're just watching and listening or maybe you're doing the dishes and you have this on in the background. I do that a lot with live streams. <laughs> I put them on in the background while I'm doing things and watch. Um, so right now I'm just base coating. We're going to make some more of these fall rocks because I really liked how they turned out and they were fun and seemed like a good thing to work on while we hang out. So here we are. And it's very nice. Here 
in, at least here in the U.S., we've got a three-day weekend. If you work a job that lets you have a three-day weekend, my husband does not, so he is at work today, unfortunately, but I guess the silver lining to that is the holiday pay. We'll, we'll take that, but it is a bit of a bummer not to have him home when we're home, but that's okay. He'll be back. Well, let's see here. So Catherine says, someone left a painted rock by the community mailbox, so I didn't take it. Someone else got to enjoy it. Oh, that's so sweet of you. I leave them by our community mailboxes a lot, and sometimes they stay for a while and then they disappear, or other times I've seen them show up in different places, like if I go on a walk with a dog, um, or in someone's yard, which is kind of cool <laughs> to see it. I guess that's kind of someone keeping it, but also displaying it for everyone else to see. Um, and it lets me see how they hold up in the sunlight too. I'm always curious because you never know if they go back inside and, and how they how they hold up. Um, it's always a good test of what you're sealing things with, right? Like how's that, how does that hold up? Oh, I should have brought my fan over here. These are not gonna dry quickly. Let's see. Me. Let's see. Let's see, I have a problem with putting paint on nice and thick too. Of course, <laughs> you would think, we're in a nice dry climate here, you would think it would dry quickly, but it does not always dry quickly, unfortunately. Are you painting along today, Catherine, or are you just hanging out? I was, I don't know why I was surprised that people were painting along last week, um, and I have to, I have to post a picture of that Nevada rock because when I got resin on it, oh man, did that glitter pop, and it was so pretty. It turned out really good. I just took it to my mom yesterday. She's um, the one that requested it. It's going to be used for a raffle prize for a local organization that she is part of, so that'll be kind of cool. Somebody will get to take it home, and maybe, maybe it'll be someone who's never seen painted rocks and doesn't know what they're all about. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I should have base coated these before I started. We don't want to sit here and watch paint dry. So that means you guys got to help me keep the conversation going. <laughs> what are you up to in your neck of the woods? What are you painting? Have you found any, hid any lately? I'm starting to get another collection that I need to hide. And I did drop one. I'm curious to see when the person finds it. So this was probably three years ago. We stayed at a little motel and it's become our little favorite motel to stay in um, because we go back home for the 4th of July every year. And this, this motel's not right in town where we go for the festivities, but it's more affordable and they have a pool. So it's fun for the kids. And um, we go and stay there. And um, it always falls, because 4th of July, I think July 3rd is International Drop a Rock Day, and they usually have the themed rocks and everything. So I think that year the theme was You Matter. That's what it was. The theme was You Matter. And I made these tiny, they were even smaller than this. They were like tiny little rocks. And I made them, and they looked like post-its. There's a tutorial on the channel, um, like the post-its. And so I made them, and I left some at this motel that we stayed at and the guy had just bought the business he was fairly new within the year of owning the place really really nice guy he fits into the community really well it's a small community um, and I found him on TikTok recently and um, made a comment about something and he must have recognized um, he, he must have looked at the channel and saw that I painted rocks and he made a TikTok asking a question if I had left this little painted rock that said you matter on it and I did it was me and he's kept it all this time and so we went through this town yesterday and I had made him a bigger rock it's probably like this big and actually it's from one of the tutorials it's the one that has the mountains and it says wander on it and so I wrote on the back of it that his motel needed a bigger rock and he wasn't there so I left it um, kind of on the front he has like a nice little sitting area there in front of the registration desk so I left it there um, so I'm curious when he'll find it. I'm sure he'll TikTok it because he's a big TikToker. <laughs> um, 
that'll be kind of cool to see. They needed a bigger rock for their little, little home there. But, so you guys tell me, what are you working on? Do your local groups have any challenges going? We just put, um, in the two groups that I admin, I had seen on Instagram, there is a, an Instagram, I guess, what do you call them, page, channel, account, I guess, called Stone Art Sisterhood. And she does this um, Pinterest mashup challenge. And it looks so much fun. So the idea of it is, is that you open up Pinterest and whatever the first two pins are that you see, you create a painted rock design based on those. So I guess a lot of us rock painters are always looking for ideas on there. So sometimes it may be more obvious. Like I think she had a lot of baby Yodas and then doing, you know, other things. So she would have these baby Yoda Pinterest mashups. But then there was one that she did where I think her pins that came up, it was some sort of spaghetti dish and then it was um, the that technique I don't know if you guys have seen it where you take a string and you dip it in the paint and then you drag it across the rock and it creates um, it's very cool and so <laughs> she made a video of using the spaghetti noodles to drag the paint across a rock I thought that was great so we actually I asked her permission if we could you know spread the challenge to our local rock groups and so um, our local groups here are working on Pinterest mashup challenge. So I haven't done it yet myself, but um, what came out of it? One of the other admins did, she had a Zentangle and like a pumpkin design, and she so she did a Zentangled pumpkin. Um, one of the other admins had, I think it was, what was it? It was a zombie and something else. Was it the Loch Ness Monster and she zombied it? It was, it was really cute. She did a really good job. So sometimes it requires you to really be creative and think hard about what you're going to do because um, you never know what you're going to get when you do the, the um, you know, what, what's going to come up when you open your Pinterest thing. So I really should have brought in my fan over here. You can see how wet this guy is because I must have laid it on there thick. But maybe instead of penciling on the pumpkin will freehand it since this is still a little wet. Um, seeing a few white spots here so I'm going to cover them up but this guy looks probably the the cleanest so we'll just we'll just go with the flow and freehand as this paint is drying since it's literally wet paint. <laughs> so I'm going to put gesso and my poor little stand here it looks like it's swinging so I'm sorry that things are moving I'll try not to bump it um, but I'm going to put gesso first because orange for a pumpkin is kind of a, a tough, um, orange is a tough color to get a nice solid on, right? So I kind of, when I make pumpkins, I almost start with the shape of a heart, like you can see here, and then kind of bring it around, round on the bottom, like that. So this will be the pumpkin, and then we'll make some swirlies for the flowers. Maybe if my paintbrush wants to cooperate. This is a smaller rock than my original one, so it's I probably should have brought another some different brushes with me here, but that's okay. We can have lots of flowers, right? It might actually be kind of fun to have some more flowers up here. We'll, we'll venture out and be a little bit different than the original and see what we get. Let's see here. It's got still a little shiny, but I think this one, let's do the pumpkin in the middle. Let's experiment. I have to practice what I preach here and just go for it because the beauty of the tutorials is that I can edit out my flubs or I can start over if it's not something I'm happy with, but let's let's go with the flow. We're live. <laughs> see how it goes. Oh, let's see here. Okay, so Catherine says 
she did a rock painting inspired by a killer whale cave painting on San Nicolas Island off the coast of Southern California. Oh my gosh, that sounds really pretty. I would love to see that. That's so awesome. And I know you meant rock. <laughs> Correction. I have fat thumbs. You are talking to the queen of fat thumbs. Hello, Shannon. <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to show up because you were looking forward to this. I had to skip it last weekend. How is everyone doing? Killer whale. That sounds amazing. I am no good at realism. <laughs> it's not my thing. It's not my strength by any means. So I, pr I have become a big fan of silhouettes. There's going to be, um, I'm hoping to get a video edited by Friday. Um, to get it out, I made a wedding gift for a friend. She got married in April and it's September and I just finished it, but it, it's kind of because I was agonizing over what I was going to do with it because it was, I wanted it to be special. So, um, I, I did one that has silhouettes and it really came out good. Her reaction was great. So I, I got that on video. So I'm hoping to make a video out of that and have it out by Friday so that you can see. But that is silhouettes. I used one of their wedding pictures and created a silhouette on a, on a background and it came out. That works for me because I can use the carbon paper and get like all the intricate details of, you know, a picture or, you know, if you print clip art, you can get clip art off the internet or off of, you know, Microsoft Word or whatever you want to do. Um, and then you can use carbon paper to trace it. And I like that. I feel like it, it works. It, it's, it's enough for me. <laughs> and then just a black silhouette. And depending on what your background is, it really, really pops. You can mess around with bright colors. I like doing kind of like sunset mixes, I guess. And that's what I did for this. And it, it turned out really, really good. I think <laughs> you guys could be the judge of that. Um, well, this poor one is still wet. Okay, we're gonna put our pumpkin on anyway. So for you guys that just arrived, I'm not using my chalk pencil because my paint is still wet. So I'm just kind of moving along and it will eventually dry before we write on it, but <laughs> I'm just gonna freehand it and embrace the imperfection. That's the phrase of the, it's gonna be the phrase of the channel, I think. We'll just freehand our way through this and make some more fun fall rocks. Okay, let's see. So there are no dumb questions, no dumb questions. So Catherine's asking, how do you send the picture, messenger or email? So probably messenger would work um, on Facebook or if you find me on Instagram, I'm there too and you can direct message it to me. That would be awesome. I haven't really put a public email out on this thing yet and I'm not sure why. I'm. I don't know if I'm afraid that it's going to get flooded and I'll forget to check it or um, I still feel like I'm kind of trying to learn how to balance everything now that I went back to the office. I never stopped working when the pandemic happened, but I was working from home so I had a different time constraint, <laughs> um, right? Like I was super busy doing homeschool kindergarten and working from home, but I could also shut everything down and literally walk to the kitchen and start dinner where now I have to commute to and from. So that takes away time from, you know, being able to start the rest of the evening routines and whatnot. So I think I'm afraid of adding too much to my plate. I don't know. It's probably stupid. I have weird quirks. <laughs> it happens. Let's do some pumpkins. Okay, so this color, these are all the same colors I used in the tutorial this week. So for the pumpkin, it's going to be Outrageous Orange. And we'll keep going here. Let's see. Shannon, are you working on something today? Last week you were painting along. She's our mushroom, mushroom queen. <laughs> Another thing I was going to try and do this month, and I have tabled it until another month, is um, there's another gal that I follow um, 
I stumbled across her YouTube channel and then realized that I had one of her hand lettering books and I really enjoy her YouTube channel. Um, and so I just bought another book she just released that's all about doodling and she does these monthly um, doodle challenges um, where there's like a doodle a day and she put one out that um, was like a forest theme and my thought was to do the doodle a day um, on one rock like a large Santorini or something and then end up with a forest scene at the end of it um, and then it just got too overwhelming so I, I tabled it and some of the things that she had on the list I was not familiar with what they even were or how I would go about doodling or drawing them on a rock so I was like let's wait for maybe another month and we'll see what she puts out in October maybe it'll be Halloween themed and I can I can get down with that let's see here oh so Shannon's saying yeah you can't really share stuff on YouTube which is unfortunate that we can't do the pictures and comments kind of like you do on Facebook but there is a Facebook page um, and I am on Instagram so if you want to send it to me that way then I can see your cool killer well and Shannon is working on a koi ooh are you doing the ones that have the rocks like where you do the rock that was like a, a video that went viral a couple of years ago and it was it was all the rage of doing the making the natural looking stones by kind of watering down paint gray and gray and um, black I think I didn't master it but one of my fellow admins did and she she's an amazingly talented artist um, and she got that whole thing down and did some really pretty ones it's pretty neat I have not I think that falls in the realism category for me I probably could get that whole rock thing down if I watched one of the tutorial videos I know Rachel's rocks has one I probably could could learn I could learn but I get intimidated <laughs> oh okay it's a plaster mold and then you make it any way you want. That is super cool. Very fun. I just made a bunch of um, the, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting what I make it with. The Ultra Cal, the Ultra Cal 30 stones in the mold last weekend. Because I wanted some nice round ones to do some Halloween mandalas because you guys were asking for a mandala tutorial after I did that three minute mandala video. So I thought well, Halloween ones are fun with some of those colors. Okay, so Shannon says you're on Instagram and you can see them there. So yes, send it to me there and I will be able to check that out. I would love to see that whale. I bet it's so pretty. I used to live in sort of Southern California, kind of the high desert-ish of Southern California. So San Diego in that area was drivable in a couple hours, I guess. <laughs> This orange paint, I will never learn. It's it's a multi-surface, so it's got more shine to it than my normal little matte apple barrels, and it, so it gets kind of where you can see all the the lines in it, which is annoying sometimes. But um, we'll make it work. I'm sure no one will notice once it's finished and once it's found. Oh my gosh, some of this brown paint is still not dry. I either put it on way too thick or it is somehow humid in here or something. Let's see. Okay, Catherine just subscribed to Rachel. Her stuff is amazing. She, um, she is very talented. Um, her art intimidates me sometimes, but I just love watching them. She does just amazing things and she just goes for it and, um, I feel like she's kind of the pioneer of rock painting YouTube channels. <laughs> but she is very, 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 very talented. She does some like dragon eyes um, that are um, very realistic and just beautiful. And like these jewels she, where you can make a jewel look real. It's very, very cool. I don't know why I still have this brown now. Let's put that away. And then I'm going to get out the flower paint. This orange is still drying. This is going to be fun. So for the flowers, again, these are the same colors that are in the tutorial from earlier. So sun-kissed peach, Tuscan red, and apricot. And 
just kind of alternating some of the colors around and then taking a disposable eyeliner brush to swirl them. You'll see that when it's a little bit wet. Let's see here. Um, maybe I'm going to start with the Tuscan Red. What rock did I start with? Nothing's drying here so I can't tell. Let's rotate. I should have like a system going here. <laughs> so I'm just going to swirl my little flowers on. The thing I like about this is you don't have to be too careful or perfect. It's just kind of, but everyone's going to know their flowers. There's no doubt that these are flowers. So I'm just going to swirl them on there. Whatever shape they come out, flowers aren't perfectly round, right? goes my rotation. I'm making zero sense in how I'm <laughs> putting these down. It's Monday. Does that mean I, even though it's a holiday for us, can I claim Monday brain on a day off? I feel like I can. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna own that. It's Monday brain. Because it would have happened at work if I had to go back to work, right? Thank you, Shannon. You're giving me permission to claim my Monday brain. I'm going for it. Hopefully my husband will agree. <laughs> He's lovingly come to refer to it as COVID mush brain, even though I didn't, I have not had COVID. I think just the whole, everything we lived through gave us all a little bit of mush brain. We have permission to be a little mushy. Time is squishy and you don't quite know when things happened compared to where we are, like what was two years ago versus one year ago versus three years ago. It's it's all mushy. It's, it's a strange phenomenon, I guess. But I think the good thing is it caused us all to slow down a little bit, which is a good thing, right? Slow down, think about what's important, spending time with our families. Oh geez, see, I forgot a red one. I'm doing well. You know what? We're going to make this one orange in the middle. Let's be different. There are no rules. Let's just go with it. Okay. My rotation is so far off, I don't even know what's happening. I don't know what was first. I should have numbered them or something. Ha! That's okay. Orange, 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 orange. Get this guy. Oh, and this guy needs some more brown. After all that time it took to, to dry, it's got some white spots in it. Figures. Figures, figures. good at this just constantly talking thing. My five-year-old is great at it. Me, not so much. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to add, since this took forever to dry, I'm going to add that little bit of brown in. I really need those new lights. I'm having trouble seeing what I'm doing. <laughs> ah, brown, what I do? I just put orange. That would have been disastrous. A little bit of brown. These white spots here. And a little hole. Okay. It will eventually dry. Okay. Up you go. Hopefully the sound is a little better. I did adjust the microphone to try and um I don't know what was going on. I watched some of the, I think on the first we had all kinds of technical difficulties a couple weeks ago. 
I had to shut down one stream and I didn't realize I couldn't get back into it. So I had to start a new one, but everybody found their way back in, which was great. But when I rewatched that first one, or just a piece of it, I think I had sound coming from both the camera on my phone and the microphone. So it was like echoing and you guys didn't tell me. So Shannon, I'm going to hold you responsible if you're going to be my my live stream number one fan. <laughs> you have to yell at me if the sound is off or if it was like echoey because I think it was picking it up out of both thingies because I didn't, I didn't realize what I was doing. So hopefully I will get better at this the more we do it and not mess it up. And hopefully next time we'll have even better lighting. Um, let's see here. Okay. And you're laughing. Good, I'm glad you're laughing because I'm not kidding. <laughs> totally not kidding. trying to be my problem child today, I think. Where did I see it? Around the edge. You guys probably can't see it because the camera's not as clear, but right in here, there it is. Just a teensy bit. Go ahead and cover that up. Okay. You can't paint and live at the same time either. Yeah, I, I'm just learning as I go. What the heck? I figure everybody has been so forgiving with with the goof ups on things that I feel like why not? Right? We get to hang out, and I enjoy that part of it that we get to hang out because YouTube has kind of a different. It's different than Facebook or Instagram, which I'm pretty used to more so Facebook probably because of adminning the other rock groups and it's very interactive right and kindness rocks are very active on Facebook there's lots of local and regional groups and you can post pictures in the comments and you can you can do more things in that way so it YouTube is kind of funny where you can just comment and you can't share pictures in the comments which is kind of a disadvantage so I guess the live streams are sort of a way to combat that I guess um, all right so now is where my Monday brains really gonna really gonna kick in let's see how we do here so now I'm gonna go back and wet some of the paint on the flowers and then take a lighter color or just a different color and swirl it in to give the flower effect so I'm just gonna dab a little bit more of this Tuscan red on here and then let's swirl it with the sun-kissed peach maybe let's try that and I do go kind of back and forth between the two colors with this just because I want it to kind of have some definition and I do come back with the the black um, Sakura Pigma pen to give it even more definition and just kind of give it that little swirl in the middle and that helps too. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with the others but probably use the Tuscan Red as the swirl on these because it's darker. Darker, darker, darker. Uh, which one's that? Orange. <laughs> I already forgot. This little brush has like a hair on it or something. It's being weird. So let me swirl. So it helps to have the paint wet because then the colors kind of mix together a little bit or you get that kind of tie-dye swirly look and look. <laughs> dab here. I 
have to figure out the right ratio of working on multiple rocks or one rock. The Nevada rock I did a couple weeks ago worked because it was a big enough design that I could work on different parts of it while other parts dried, I think. This is trickier. I thought I had enough rocks here that everything was going to dry well, but I think I'm being blobby. <laughs> I'm being very blobby with the paint, so it's, it's being kind of funny. But that's okay. Sounds like the five-year-old is growling at the TV right now. No idea what's going on in the other room. <laughs> Frustration. Mondays. Mondays are happening all around the house today. There's a bit of that swirl. So you can see, this is not perfect. It's kind of messy, but that's okay. That's exactly what I want. I don't want it to be perfect and I think there's something nice in that and the spring rock that I, I think it was a, yeah it was a spring rock that I made like this with these little flowers was really well liked and well received and I think it's because it you know when things can be intimidating right like sometimes when I watch a Rachel's rock video I'm like there's no way that I can pull off some of the stuff she does but this is easy because it lets you be messy or imperfect and, but yet you still know what it is and I think that's that's kind of cool and that's what it's about I don't think these have to be perfect anybody finds something that's brightly colored out in the wild is gonna be excited about it Sammy does rocks our littlest and people find them and, and love them because they know that a little person made it and how cool is that Rotation. Go over here and dry, dude. On to the next. Let's see here. <laughs> that orange paint is tricking me because I think it's not dry, but it's kind of dry because it's shiny. So let's wet this up again a little bit. Hello, Rhonda. Nice to have you here. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you're having a great Monday. Hope you're not having as mushy brain of a Monday as I am. <laughs> or maybe that's okay. It's okay to be mushy brained when you're off. You don't have to be completely on it today. I'm not driving anywhere. I'm not doing any major projects. Just hanging out with you guys and paint some pretty rocks. <laughs> I have been slacking on hiding these, unfortunately. Sometimes I, I end up painting a bunch and then I don't hide them and I have to hide them all in a big bunch. So I think I might, once these are sealed and everything and dry, take them to work. We were. I have a basket or a little bucket on my desk at work that I would aim to fill every week, which started to put pressure, I guess, to try and fill that thing every week. And then I don't really have a lot of foot tra traffic in my office where they would get taken by people that came in, but we would take them um, when we walked to the gym or went to walk, went to walk some to the park at lunch, and we would take them with us and hide them which was fun, and so I kind of miss that. There's a nice, a really nice park near my work that has lots of um, nice places without, you know, hiding them in bad places like grass, but they have some tree, they have, the trees there have all these great like knot holes that are perfect for holding rocks, which is, I like hiding them in the trees because then they're kind of up and eye level and people see them and there's a nice kids playground over there so the kids can find them. Okay, number two, you go dry. Before I get back on this guy, I'm gonna give him a little bit more orange because I've got some holes and I don't like holes. <laughs> These pumpkins are gonna have texture to them because I'm kind of dabbing the paint on. So they might be a little textured, but hey, real pumpkins are kind of bumpy. 
okay. <laughs> totally okay. So I'm curious what else you all are interested in seeing. What else do you want to see on the channel? Because um, I think I've got some good Halloween ideas. Um, it's easier to come up with things when there is holidays. Holidays make it a lot easier, but um, is there something you would like to see more of or less of? <laughs> Open to that too. Um, get a drink real quick. Oh, hey, don't touch the microphone. Okay, that sounded creepy. Just say hi in your normal voice. Hi. Just say hi. Can I? Yes, you can say hi. Hi. <laughs> the five-year-old has made his appearance <laughs> to say hi to you all on this Monday. He's on the countdown to when we're going to sit down and do some homework later. That's no. okay. No. That's what you always say, and then you do a good job when we sit down and do it. No, I will never do it this time. Okay. Bye. <laughs> and he's off again. I have a bunch of rocks that he did that I need to seal so that we can... Sometimes I'll add little googly eyes and faces to them. And then we seal them and go hide, let him hide them. And he likes doing that. One of his that he made when he was three just surfaced in our local Facebook group. And it shocked me because I had forgotten about it. I think we hid it at his preschool at the time. And it must have traveled because people said they found it on a, one of the rest stops at the freeway that's a ways from here. And then it just moved all around. And the rock was actually broken in half, oddly enough. So somebody must have dropped it. But... They, whoever kept rehiding it was, you know, hiding both pieces of it. <laughs> and people, people posted a picture of it. It was so cool to see because we had forgotten about it because he did it almost three years ago. He's about to turn six, so it's, it's been around a while, which was pretty funny. But I think it's fun to do with the kids. I may offer to his teacher... So I just filled out the volunteer paperwork and she asked if if you have a special thing that you do maybe I could base coat a bunch of rocks or I've seen some people make the ones where it's almost like a coloring book and it's white and then just black marker um, where you create the picture and then the little kids can um, fill it in I think that's a good idea that might be fun for the little people to do and I've heard that you can use regular colored pencils on rocks. I have not tried that, but that might be a good a good way of them doing it too. That's maybe a little less messy for the poor teacher. <laughs> we'll see. I picked like the worst disposable eyeliner brush this time. I don't know what I did. It's just not as cooperative as usual. have started doing Halloween rocks already. I'm starting to see them popping up in our group and all over Instagram and the groups that I follow. The Halloween rocks are coming, which is okay. I think that's fun. I realized last year that I have to do it a little sooner than I normally would because of the channel because everyone else is starting sooner and I'm kind of going through the same thing as last year where I'm starting on any of the holidays early this year because it gives us something to be happy about. <laughs> so our office actually um, already got decorated. My, my uh, coworker, we pulled out the decorations. She's like, we need to get these up. So we, uh, we 
have Halloween going on and I think we're gonna just keep adding to it because I went to the dollar store this weekend and found some cool decorations. They had some really cute stuff. Um, hi Tammy, welcome, happy Monday. Good to see you. But yeah, so holidays, we're just gonna, we're gonna go for it early. So maybe next weekend we'll get out our, our Halloween decorations for the house here because we seem to keep accumulating something new every year or my husband will go to the those Halloween stores like Spirit after Halloween when it's closing and you can get stuff on clearance which is kind of fun. He got a huge, oh I'm not going to remember the name of it because I have not watched all of the Stranger Things seasons but the that big monster thingy. <laughs> He got one of those, like a blow up one, and it's huge, it's taller than he is. So that's kind of cool. I forget what it's called. I fail. Monday again. <laughs> Happy Monday to you too. Are you working on something, Tammy? Or are you just hanging out? Sometimes I don't have enough time in the day. I get jealous sometimes when I scroll social media and I see people making so many things and there's daily stuff that they're making and I'm like, oh, I wish I had the time. Like, if I could retire now, early, <laughs> you just paint and paint and paint and paint. Oh, favorite time of the year is fall and spring, Tammy. I think that's, if I had to pick, I would probably say that too. I... I always say I like where we live because we get every season here. So I do like that we get a taste of everything, that we get the hot and the snow when it snows. We've not had some much good snow years the past few years, but um, I like that we get all the seasons. But I do like fall and spring because the temperatures are like tolerable, right? It's that nice sweet spot before it gets really hot or really cold and it's just comfortable and the weather is good. But I do enjoy that, I guess, it changes. Like, I was happy summer hit when it did, and happy when spring comes and things start to warm up. But it just is. It's tricky. Oh. How funny. Tammy says she can't juggle both, so she, watch now, paint later. <laughs> that, that would make a good t-shirt. Watch now, paint later. <laughs> and you're from Tennessee. Okay. So it's later in the day for you. Um, Shannon says, hey, Tammy's saying, hey, I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm down in the last flower here. I'm so worried that this paint is not going to be dry enough to put the details on, but let's see how we do. Hello again, Mr. Five-year-old. Don't play with that. Don't. Oh, Shannon says it is 85, but better than 105. That is true. I could never live in Las Vegas. I travel there a fair amount for work, um, and it gets so hot there. Like, they think that, like, 60 degrees is cold. <laughs> I'm like, 60 degrees is... Wait, Mama. Perfect. What? I just pushed that down. Don't, don't, don't. Is that paint? Yes, yes. Go wash your hands now, knucklehead. <laughs> Get down without hurting yourself and go wash your hands. I'm stuck. Was it a bubble? I'm Yes. Okay. Hold on. I'm stuck. Yes, I see that. Your leg is stuck. No, I'm it's too far. <laughs> there. Okay, go wash. Oh, careful, careful. You're going to get orange paint. <laughs> go wash your hands. All right. Did we get all of our flowers? I think we got all of our flowers. Okay. Let me get up. You guys are chatting away. 85 beautiful in Tennessee today. Shannon is in Oregon. And so Tammy says she's new at rock painting and she's watched a zillion videos. Isn't that the cool thing about YouTube though that you can find um, all kinds of videos um, and different skill levels and stuff too. Like even though I find um, 
Rachel's rock stuff sometimes intimidates me. I've still learned so much from her. Um, like her techniques and stuff are very cool. And she's just so good at it. Oh, and you guys are laughing at Sammy. <laughs> He's just being a silly little guy. I am capping the paint before he can stick his fingers in any more of them when he comes back. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. It's a miracle I can even pull this off while he's awake. I've thought about doing these like at night when everybody's in bed, but then I feel like the timing might be off for anybody that wants to watch. I don't know. I think live streams are okay on the return replay, but they're more fun live because like you guys are interacting with each other even. Yes. Best therapy ever. Yes. They're so fun to watch or just to put on in the background or um, sometimes I'll put them on if I'm working on stuff at work. Even maybe not even rock painting videos, but YouTube is, YouTube's kind of crazy how it, um, ah, Shannon's got an eight year old. She understands. <laughs> um, YouTube is kind of amazing at all the stuff that is on it. Like there is just so much stuff on here that you can learn. And like, I've been finding the, um, the Ted talks, like you can find Ted talks on any topic you can think of, um, which is just so cool. Like, you know, you can, you can learn about things. I think, I mean, there's a flip side to that. You do have to be careful, right? Like it's, that also means it's very easy for someone to maybe spread information that may not, may or may not be true, or maybe isn't as, um, fully verified or, you know, so you do have to do your homework, I guess. So now I'm just adding swirlies into these guys with this Sakura Pigma pen. If you guys watch the tutorials, you see me use this a lot. It's really good for fine line detail. Um, and I was paranoid that, um, it dried out because I accidentally left it open the other night and I just discovered it this morning, but it looks like it has survived. It's working quite well. So I'm adding my little swirlies in the flowers and then I'm going to come back and add some pumpkin detail because I'm worried. Thank you. I'm worried that the pumpkins, oh. That one was not dry yet. <laughs> I just got through to the, that, I, wasn't that the last one I just worked on? Oh, brother. Got all out of order again. Let's see. This feel pretty dry. I think the tip of this pen is digging right into it. If it's not dry, it'll dig right in because it's nice and pointy. But this just, um, this just gives a little more definition to those swirls so that, you know, it's like a little, I guess, I guess it kind of looks like a little rosebud. I, I wasn't really aiming when I created these for anything in particular. I'm gonna let those dry. They're still wet. So let's work on pumpkins. These pumpkins are dry. Um, I wasn't really aiming to create any sort of flower in general. It just was what it was. But um, I think they're they're pretty good. Oh, you killed a Posca pen by not, yeah, yeah, I, and Posca pens, like it, I have learned, um, like I have a tutorial video on, um, also how I smooth rocks and I discovered the hard way and it took a while to figure out what my process would be. But if you put spackle on them, you can fill in like little bumps or if there's little divots in the rock, you can fill it in. But I discovered that then if you went to go right on that with a Posca pen, your Posca pen would like sink into the divots. So what I do now is after I put the spackle on, I will um, put a coat of Mod, Mod Podge. Um, <laughs> I think she meant Posca pen. She was typing fast. <laughs> um, I'll put a coat of Mod Podge on top of it to kind of seal it in and that helps. So then your, your, um, uh, okay. Is there, is there another brand that I don't know about? It's not Posca. It's Pesco. You guys got to fill me in on this. I've never heard of Pesco. If there's Pesco, I've heard of Posca, but not Pesco. Clue me in if I'm missing out on a new brand. <laughs> I have used, Posca was the first paint pen that I started with, and I still have quite a few of them, and then I ventured into, um, 
what did I get? The Thule art, and I like those. And I have not tried the Artistro. I've seen those are quite popular also. Um, but I haven't haven't done those yet. So let's see, this pumpkin should be dry, this big guy. It's just the flowers that are angry. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get him outlined. And again, even the outlines on the pumpkins are not perfect. So if a little bit of orange is sneaking out, that is okay. I'll just get some cute pumpkins. Um, man, I managed to get orange paint on the brown there. I am winning at life today, you guys. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Pasco, your spell checker is not helping you, Shannon. <laughs> I do believe you guys are all trying to say Pasca, but we are getting every possible version of that, and it's hilarious. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. I wonder what spell check thinks we're trying to say, because, yeah. My problem too is like on my phone, I tend to make the same mistakes with my fat thumbs and then it remembers it. So then when I'm actually getting the word correct, it wants to correct it to something else, which is just tons of fun. All right, which way did I do this rock? Is it this way or this way? I think it was this way, right? I don't even know which way the, yeah. I think it's, it's better that way. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. It is Monday. Get a little card out here to make sure this guy's working. So this is a Thule pen. Um, and I think they're they're shinier. They come out shiny. Um, where Pascas are more like a matte finish, these come out shiny. Curly cues, just for fun, so you can kind of see there. Man, I don't know why this thing looks like, it's like there's a ghost. It's like it's shaking, but it's not. Get one more stem. Oh, this was dumb because I just added more brown paint on this one. I'm telling you, I'm winning at life here. shaken because it's kind of giving me like a dark and a light um, line out of the same thing. It's kind of a cool effect. Not intended, but that's what's happening. <laughs> um, now that brown paint looks darker. Look at that. So where, I don't know if you can see it, where I corrected, it's kind of darker here and then it's lighter over here. So I may have to go over the whole thing. I am striking out on that poor little guy today. Let's see if we can make this pumpkin pretty. <laughs> what else can we add? Oh, Tabitha. Hello. I hope you're doing good too. I hope your daughter's doing good and first day of school went well. And how did that teacher like that rock that she made for her? It was so cute. <laughs> These are Mexican beach pebbles, Tabitha, like you're looking for. These are the ones. I'll have to find the link to the Home Depot ones because I think they're more expensive depending on how big you get them. And I think I think this guy came out of a bigger package and these ones came out of a smaller one. Um, and I want to say the smaller one was like $9.99 for the bag. It was not bad at all. Um, and so I just ordered different sizes until I can hit the $40 
a purchase and then it's free shipping which is great and they bring them to your door and slam them down if you're home when it comes you know that it got here um and then uh yeah it's it's really great um i did have to use a dolly to move some of them because some of them were heavy but you know you can't win you can't win them all I'm gonna even this out because i don't know what is happening with this brown it just got like kind of dark i wonder if my water is getting a little too cloudy because i do not um do these lives from my normal painting spot i move what i need over to my desk because i have the computer and a little more space to set up the the live streaming stuff but um yeah so i almost always forget something and can't always um empty my water i mean i could i guess i could get up don't want to be rude though <laughs> um oh good her teacher loved the rock and you can't wait to get your hands on these rocks you will like these they are so smooth like look at the back of this it's so smooth it's almost too smooth that's why i use the the gesso so much with these because you need something to create grip um but they are they are really nice to use i love them oh creek beds yes anywhere there's water um yeah if there's water running over the rocks um they tend to be smoother that is a good one um, I think it's getting to be a hot topic taking rocks out of the wild we've had in our local group some people that are not happy about that um, so we've kind of we don't publicly encourage it <laughs> um, because there is the thought that you are taking it out of the environment and it's there for a purpose in the environment and and I can understand that um, especially if it's in the water I, I don't know it's it's a tricky 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 thing so I debated when I took a couple rocks from well, I took more than a couple from New Mexico if you guys watched that video um, when I was out walking and I, I justified it that they they were literally in the road they were part of the road gravel and it wasn't like those trails were um, it was natural and just had been the trails had been graded you know with a bulldozer or whatever it wasn't that the the place had paid and dumped gravel on them and i was stealing you know that's like stealing landscaping rock it wasn't that it was part of the natural rock um and i felt even better about it when i went through the tsa and the guy said that people take rocks all the time and take them home that made me laugh because i was embarrassed that he could see them in my <laughs> carry-on bag but he's like nope everybody does that all the time don't even stress so that made me feel a little better um and funny enough i picked up one and in that video i was like oh i'm gonna make a pickle out of it it looks like a pickle and then i got thinking about it and i was like duh the rocks from new mexico and new mexico's famous for chilies so i think i'm gonna make it into a, like a chili um because everything there um, I went there in college like 20 years ago and I remember going into a McDonald's and you could get chilies on your burgers it was like normal because that's how prevalent they are there um, so I knew that that was a thing that they would ask you red or green you know in a restaurant and that determines what kind of chili you wanted on there um, but at this conference I went to for work um, they had the, so the dessert bar is where it stood out to me. I expected it to be in all the food, but they had um, these little miniature, like individual apple pies on the dessert buffet that were chili and apple pie. So instead of like sweet and salty, it was like spicy and sweet. <laughs> um, it was interesting. I, I didn't hate it, but I don't know that I loved it either. Um, but then they had some really good um, ice cream and they had a chocolate sauce that had the chili in it. Um, what else did they have? I feel like there was something else on the dessert table. Oh, the brownies. They had brownies that had chilies in them. And you couldn't really taste it because I think chocolate kind of overpowers things. But um, <laughs> Tammy's saying, ew. <laughs> and I think 
I think that's kind of, I mean, if you're not from there, right, that could easily be the reaction. Um, but it, it was subtle. It wasn't, um, like the apple pie, I was not sure what to expect. Um, but it was, it was interesting. Um, and I, I guess I'm, and I'm not a spicy person. Like I'm a total wuss when it comes to spicy food. So I was a little afraid of it, but it was a subtle, I don't know if they cook it out or they use ones that are less spicy. I'm sure there's, you know, grades of <laughs> spiciness, but, um, yeah, it was, it was really interesting. So I think I'm going to make that rock into a chili pepper since it came from New Mexico. All right, it's time to write on these. Am I dry enough to write on these? Because I feel like I need my chalk pencil for this. Cause... So these chalk pencils are the best. They're actually sewing pencils. And I think this is supposed to be like a little eraser to take it off of um, like fabric, if you're using it on fabric. But they work really well. They come in a pack of white, blue, and pink. So the blue and pink work really well if you have a white background and the white works well on anything else. But they're just really great for kind of lining something out if you don't know what you want or you want to get it straight or whatever. And then to wipe it off, you just take, if you don't cover it up with paint, you just take a damp paper towel and just kind of dab at it and it comes right off. It's perfect. Um, so I have to figure out what I want to write on these. Should I do... Hello fall again, happy fall. I know I want to do one that says happy fall y'all, maybe on the big one because there's more room. Um, so let's do some more hello falls maybe. Oh, and you guys probably are not going to be able to see this very well because it's pretty light. Trying to make two L's that look the same is no small feat. And I feel like I'm probably, I have a terrible habit of writing like off on an angle. <laughs> Just the worst. case of erasure for sure. Um, I think I might want to do these. Sometimes I don't change much, but let's try cursive fall. Sorry, I really shut up when I'm how this paint isn't totally um oh tan's gotta run great painting keep up the good work time for grandkids oh yes good for you have a great monday and have a great week tammy thank you for stopping by um, <laughs> there is a car motor something driving in my background here you all may hear that because <laughs> it's loud <laughs> Oh, Shannon, you were taking rocks from Fred Meyers, which I think is a grocery store, right? Big no-no. <laughs> um, but making your own is so much fun. I love these. I love making them. Um, and there's so many different molds now, and they have, like, the tea light... Um, the tea light candle holders that you can make and paint. Like, there's so many fun things. And I've seen... Um, I think Happy Dotting Company has um, has some new ones that look like Santorini's almost. They're shaped very similar to like flat Santorini stones. Um, let's see here. Oh, I got close to the edge here. Oh boy. pencil. That one. I have to dip into my drinking water because my other water is way too cloudy. Actually, I might be able to... Nope, that's in there. Good. Dip in my drinking water a little bit here. It's a tad bit damp. Paper towel. Sorry, I did that right next to the microphone. to the edge. Let that dry. Uh, let's see. Okay, 
yeah, owned by Kroger. Yeah. We've had to, in our local group, we've had people that will take them out of people's yards and um, we have to make sure and make sure that that's a pretty clear rule that we don't, like, people pay for those in, in their um, yards. Like, they're not there for you to take, but um, I've also heard of a lot of really good luck people go to... Um, landscaping companies and they um can buy them especially in vegas there's i guess there's one in vegas i think it's called five star nursery and they'll let you take like five gallon buckets inside and um go pick out your own rocks so you can get like the big ones you can get ones this size and just hand pick the ones that you want and it's like five bucks for a five gallon bucket which is just insane to me to be able to go in and like hand pick the ones you want because like these ones from Home Depot are great like where I've gotten these but um they also oh, yeah, yeah, that made that dark again um they also aren't all perfect right like there are broken ones there are ones that are shaped strange and not really conducive to painting so to be able to go in and um pick out your own set of rocks like how fun so I need to see I think people in our area have done that here, so I think I need to, to try that out just for the sake of being able to pick them out and pick the sizes and shapes and smoothness and sometimes when you see the rock you know what you want to make it into. Like that's that's half the fun, right? Like like my pickle turned chili pepper. <laughs> when you see it, um, sometimes it sparks your thoughts on what it what it should be. I think this guy is gonna just have to be finished later because it's it's not dry. It's not gonna dry, I don't think, in enough time for me to finish writing on it anyway. Where's my pen? Now I'm gonna use a, um, let's see. Oh, cool. So you were getting, getting them for your church and then giving them back. That's cool. That's a neat thing to have at a church for people to kind of stumble across in the yard or whatever. Um, so this is my Posca PC1MR. These are really good for writing, but I think this one might be nearing its end of days. <laughs> so we'll see what we can get out of it. Um, so I know that you guys couldn't see much of what I was writing with the... Um, super shadows the way the light is here um with the the oh my gosh my brain monday the chalk pencil you couldn't see it but now you'll start to see it and you'll also see that it's super sketchy and imperfect so the writing is often this way and that's why I like the whole fun thing of thickening up the letters anywhere that the pen was in a downstroke because you can kind of fix some of those little weird imperfections that happen little bumpies or you know just evening out like these L's they don't both look quite the same but I can kind of fix that here I feel like my lighting is the sun is getting covered up by a cloud out there or what but I feel like it just got really dark so you can see see how that's thickening up and the um, the F isn't quite there yet um, you're so cute Shannon <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't reprimanding you for sure definitely not but it's just one of those things I guess and I guess that's the environmental uh, argument of you know when we're taking them out of the wild that if all of us are doing it we might be impacting something so I can kind of appreciate that um, and living we are close to Lake Tahoe like I was saying at the beginning of this stream and um, we have learned not to we have to encourage our members not to hide these um, on trails um, they don't uh, they aren't greatly appreciated along trails and protected um, 
areas here and we've had some angry folks join our group just to yell at us about that and say that they've thrown them away and they've alerted the authorities and um, you know that's just lots of fun so you can kind of in this light see a little bit of the chalk pencil right above that L thing at the end so you can see where I went a little different um, and I'll go back when this is nice and dry and get rid of that and so another thing you can do if you don't want to put paper towel uh, damp paper towel on it is you just take the brown paint and the like the eyeliner brush and just fill it in in those areas and it'll cover it up oh thank you Shannon it's not always amazing <laughs> it's funny I was telling somebody the other day I have certain words that I'm I'm better at than others like hello I've done a lot so like this one is I'm more familiar with it um, uh, love is another one that I can do pretty easily because I, I do them a lot <laughs> and so they come easily but the letter R is a problem child for me the letter R does not love me um, another thing that I'll do sometimes is start backwards so this one I wrote y'all that's all I got on it so far is just the y'all um, and so I'm gonna get that on there and then determine how the rest of it is going to go. And the shadows are no joke today. So we'll get the y'all on here. I'm trying to see where my original lines were. My uh, lighting is coming from the same side that my writing hand is coming from, so it's kind of weird. So L's are a lot easier when there's only one of them to do. <laughs> um, like in love, it's a lot easier because then it only has to look there's only one one to compete with where these two are um, I, I would like them to look as uniform as possible but it often does not happen so you can see how I'm kind of creating that area of where it's gonna be thick on the way down so thick 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 You can color it in. You can also take a smaller, like a fine paintbrush and fill this in with black paint if you don't want to use up the marker. I do that also, or I come back like when the markers are dying, I use the marker to get the majority of it down and then um, I'll come back with the paint. And when it's bigger like this too, you can even come and put some glitter paint on it, which, you know, makes it stand out that much more. Which is fun. But I'm also a glitter paint addict, so I like to put it on whatever I can. <laughs> you all know that if you're around. There aren't many that escape without glitter paint. One try. This guy may try. We'll see. Um. Oh my gosh. I'm looking at this now with the chalk pencil, and it kind of it goes down in like an angle. So I may. What do I want to do with that? I might paint over. I'm gonna do the fall part, and then. Whoa, what are you throwing at me, Sammy? Whoa, whoa, don't bump me, don't bump me, don't bump me. Hold on. Hey. No balls! Hey! <laughs> don't yell. You're gonna make people, like, get scared of their computers. Why? Because you probably just blasted them out. Because you kind of yelled in there. 
my bridge. I'm writing and you're shaking me. Don't shake me. Those are bubble letters. Kind of. Please don't fall. <laughs> okay. I'm stuck. Up or down, dude. <laughs> oh. Sorry. He's headbutted me. <laughs> no, I'm not in there. Okay. Oh, okay. We got the fall on there, but we have chalk. So we'll see if we can see it. See how my hello is all crookedy? And then I wrote kind of, um, oh my gosh, Shannon. <laughs> that might be the quote for the day. I hate glitter. It's like the herpes of the art world. <laughs> you want to show yourself? Shh. No, I'm not on there today. I don't actually use glitter like that's not attached to paint because I don't think... I would survive with said little person here and little person's hand. Um, I don't. I just use the glitter paints. Um, so you may have to sign off when I put the glitter on these rocks, right? <laughs> stop. Stop it, stop it. They don't want to see your little hand, silly. Oh, you're a goofball. Oh my gosh, stop. Stop, 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 stop. be careful. You're going to fall. You're making me fall. Are you going to up or down? Because I want to keep writing on this. Poop. Hey, don't. Why? Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I can't get up. I'm going to do... Let's do a print and more script. Maybe. Sammy, get down, please. Mama? And I'm freehanding now because I don't have the chalk pencil in here. Mama, can I have this? Mama? Yes. Go take it in another room. Thank you. Tink poo. Thanks, poo poo. Stop. What? <laughs> well, I need to go poo. Hey, enough. What? Come on, you're gonna make me have to mute. This is inappropriate. What? Stop. What? Okay, so I'm writing fall. Shannon's saying, hey, and I'm not gonna acknowledge it because then he's just gonna probably make me. Oh, look, I'm going to run into my hello. This should be fun. I wonder if I could loop it through the... Well, there you go. Embracing the imperfection. I ran into my L because I didn't chalk pencil it out. That's okay. I'm going down. Okay, don't fall. Careful. Mm -hmm. Careful. I'm let that guy dry. I'm going to try and straighten out my hello on this one. Oh, my goodness. Let's see here. Hello. Oh, and there's the older one. <laughs> that looks like a mess. Thank you. No, I'm talking about myself. Oh. <laughs> she said that looked like a mess, and I thought she was talking about what I was doing. having the fall there to straighten this out. Let's see. Um, oh, your daughter likes glitter. Yeah, girls like that glitter, right? I just like, I think part of the reason I like it so much is I like what happens to it when you put the resin on because it just pops and like shimmers and there's like all this dimension to it. So I think that's probably my love affair with glitter. <laughs> It's because of the resin. Um, but like I said, I only use the ones that are already in paint. I can't deal with the mess that exists if it was loose. That would be rough. Um, it's bad enough when we have like Play-Doh crumbles and everything else around here. And we do happen to just live in a dusty um, climate, so like dust lives and prevails in this world. <laughs> oh, I will tell him hi. He just kind of disappeared into the room, so I will tell him she said hi. It's so cute. So, so cute. Let's actually.
actually I'm looking outside to see we've had such terrible smoke from all of these fires oh this pen's gonna die um, and it's like this weird graduation of like gray smoke and then eventually it turns into blue sky above but oh, I think this pen just died on me all right pen enough with you I did bring a new one over here it's just gonna take me a minute to shake it up and get it going oops over oh, clicking too many hands these you really have to shake I'll do it off camera so it doesn't make the thing um, but you can see the chalk I don't know if you guys can see it but the chalk is kind of if I angle it it's all over the place <laughs> so I will have to go back in and fill the brown in on those but that's okay Let's see if I can get this other pen functional I think I need to reorder some of these. I reordered a bunch of them from, what was the place called? Durable Supply Company, I think. And you have to order them in bulk, but um, it's, they're cheaper if you order them in bulk, which is nice. I always hate this part, because I always end up wasting paint, because I push too hard. Burp it. nice part is, is that the tip is going to be in really good shape. It's always fun. It's like having new mascara when you open a new paint pen. <laughs> it's always fun. Oh, there it's gone. Yay! There it is. Oh, my life's going to get easier all of a sudden. Watch. Oh, yeah. I forget how much those tips wear out when you're using them on the paint. Ooh, that's so nice. So smooth. I'm trying to cover up as much of the chalk as I can <laughs> in my little goof ups. Um, I can already see where this this one. I think the pen is already dying, and it was kind of scratching at the paint. So I just need some little. Me and my daughter were trying to watch here and there, not working out very well. <laughs> Welcome to the world of parenting. <laughs> I think mine announced to everybody on the internet that he has to go number two. So, <laughs> welcome to the world. <laughs> There's no winning. <laughs> we just go with it. We're moms. That's what we do. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I'm going to do the happy, and I'm going to attempt a freehanding the word happy which should be okay. I just need to leave enough room for the peas because they're, they're gonna drop down. As they say in first grade, they, it's a letter that drops down into the basement. <laughs> of the rock. We'll see here. That might work. Does that work? It works. It's crooked, but it works. That's okay. Oh, eight-year-old wants a hamburger. <laughs> I hear ya. I think we're, we're gonna be finishing up here pretty quick because I think this one might be dry enough to write on now, but then I'm gonna add the glitter and probably sign off myself because everybody's gonna implode over here too. I'm so glad we were able to do another one of these. I'm still, they still make me nervous and I still don't know what I'm doing, but you guys are so much fun and so patient and I appreciate it. It's fun to, to hang out and it gives me an excuse to like paint without feeling guilty because I've scheduled a live stream and I must paint right now. <laughs> Hello, curious, is it Cree? Chris? I, I want to say Chris, like my, my mind wants to finish that. Welcome. 
So glad you were able to drop in. Just adding some fun final touches to these little fall rocks. Working on writing. Would it interest you guys, some of you longtime watchers, to, for me to do a, um, okay, great, perfect. I love it. That's awesome. Um, I was thinking about doing maybe a tutorial that worked on lettering. Um, if that would be useful, because that is something that um, I either get asked about or people seem to have an interest in. So um, you guys are a good, a good group to to tell me <laughs> if you're interested in that or not, or if you think it would be useful, I could work on a tutorial maybe. And maybe it would not be on rocks. Maybe it would start with being paper. Um, because you do have to start somewhere, right? And paper is probably a good place to practice and get the hang of it before you take it to a, a rock that has texture and bumpiness or, you know, shape to it. Um, okay, let's see here. Oop. Aha, okay, so Curious Cree is just starting and lettering can be tricky. It definitely can. Um, another thing you can do if you want to, like, there are so many cool fonts that exist in the world. Um, and, you know, taking carbon paper, like printing out what you want in whatever font you want and then taking carbon paper and tracing it onto a rock is also an option right and then I think that works um, twofold because you can uh, you're also practicing it even if you're tracing it it's helping you learn kind of those strokes and whatnot so um, yes rocks are less flat these rocks are pretty decent so I tend to write on these ones these Mexican beach pebbles Okay, Tabitha says it would be useful. Um, so I will see if I can add that to the list of things. I still want to try and do the 12 days of rocksmiths, which means I need to start working on those because doing 12 days of videos straight scares the bejesus out of me because I don't know <laughs> how I will pull that off. But I already have some ideas, and they may not all have the voiceover tutorial, but I want to do 12 days of like Christmas-themed, holiday-themed rocks maybe starting the day after Thanksgiving um, I thought that would be fun um, but that means 12 designs in a row um, I need to start working on them now <laughs> so um, that's one fun thing and then I had thought about maybe making a challenge where it was like this that doodle thing I was talking about earlier where it's um, 12 days of you know, rocks that you could create, or you could create the 12 days of rocks mess along with me. I don't know. We'll, we'll think about that. Um, let's see here. What do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to do another happy fall, y'all, but a, a small one here. And I'm going to put fall in first because I ran into my other writing with the last one. Please be writing straight. I don't know if I'm writing straight. Straight enough. <laughs> All right, Tabitha's up for it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, okay, Shannon, enjoy your burgers. Thank you so much for stopping by. And put mushrooms on the burgers too, right? You like to eat them as well as paint them, I hope. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Have a great day, and um, we'll see you next time, next time we signed on. Yes, you're right, um, Curious Cree, and that's why I kind of corrected when I said Christmas slash holiday. So yeah, winter, um, not everyone does do those things. Um, they are really popular designs, but I think um, a winter theme could be a lot of fun, like snowflakes, trees, um, maybe a mix of everything, right? Try and be as inclusive as possible. I absolutely agree. Totally agree. Um, let's see here. Let's get my y'all on here. It's a smaller y'all. So let's see how we do with this one. Five-year-old coming back. All right. So there's 
Oops, happy fall, y'all. Oh, that looks like E's. Rough. Ooh, a blue cheese avocado burger. That sounds delicious. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna thicken these up real quick. And then I'll go up top. Sammy, you are shaking me. Don't do that. Joyce. What are you doing? This. No, don't take it out. But it's wrong with the box. I need the box because I think the box has instructions in it, so you can't have that one yet. You want me to take the instructions out? Hold on. Child, you are shaking me. This is how we know it's time. It's almost time to be done. Because you are shaking me. I'm going to try and make these oh, a little taller because they look like E's to me. Okay, so I made those a little taller. Um, let me clean up a couple lines while that dries so I can put the happy on. sunlight must have changed direction because I am struggling yes so um, curious Cree you might be um, you might be new to this um, it sounds like um, so kindness rocks um, that's exactly what we do or it's what I do um, some people do sell their rocks I don't sell I just paint them and then I hide them in the community for random strangers, random people to find. Um, and the whole idea is to brighten the day of a stranger and make them smile, hopefully. That's the goal. Um, a lot of the times you never know what happens to them. Um, sometimes you do. There's a lot of um, local and regional Facebook groups that are that do this and so you can join one of those and then you usually will write on the back of the rock Keep or I put keep or rehide, um, post a picture and join the fun, and then I'll put the local um, the local rock groups um, contact information for Facebook, like the Facebook group information. I'll put that on there, and then um, if you're lucky, they'll join the group and share the rock that they found. So sometimes I would say maybe if you're lucky, like 10% of the rocks will get posted in the group. A lot of times you will never know where they go um, and I always encourage people to kind of make peace with that and, and be okay with the fact that you may never know where it ended up but that you probably made someone smile, right? Um, and sometimes that's a hard that's a hard thing for a lot of people to be okay with not knowing where it ends up they want um, and I think part of that is comes from our culture of um, where everything's in front of us and instantly in front of us and we have these news feeds and pictures and Instagram so we're used to seeing things and so sometimes it's hard to let go of the fact that you may not know where it ends up but um, being okay with that is, is pretty cool and so I also give them as gifts probably to the point that I'm a bit of a joke <laughs> um, birthdays holidays I just did a wedding gift um, and I should have a video up on that by Friday, I'm hoping. Um, but I did a wedding gift for my friend, and I got her reaction on video, which was pretty cute. Um, I guess she didn't realize that that's what was going to be in the box. So it was, it, she knew I was going to make her rock, but didn't know that it was coming, I guess. So the, the reaction was great. Um, so yeah, gifts are always fun, too, and then you do get to see the reaction. So... Um, that's so awesome. You're not worried about the recognition. You just want to do something nice. And um, that's awesome. So that's, I think a lot of people found this hobby in the last year because of, you know, the various shutdowns that occurred around the world. Um, and they needed something to do with their kids or something to do for themselves. And so they found this. And um, it is a good way to just put kindness out in the world and I think by doing that you also find benefits for yourself I think there is something very therapeutic and just good for your soul by doing random acts of kindness right and not expecting anything in return and just putting it out there and knowing that you probably make someone smile or you make a little kid really excited 
and they come across it. Um, and you know, you can write small messages on them, um, like words of encouragement. Um, if you haven't poked around on my channel, um, there's, I think I have a whole playlist that is inspirational rock designs, um, where that's the whole point is their words of encouragement, um, or just nice phrases that, you know, I have had ones posted to our local group where people have found them when they were having a bad day and it helped, <laughs> you know, and so it's kind of nice to think that something this small can be helpful and, and maybe even turn someone's day around. Um, it's pretty awesome. So, oh, awesome. You got a bag of River Rocks from the hardware store for seven bucks. That is awesome. Cool, so you have lots of little canvases to work with. That's great. Um, yeah, get some spray sealer and some craft paints. I mean, it's a pretty affordable hobby to get into. It can get expensive, my husband will tell you. <laughs> Over the years, we, as avid rock painters, will end up collecting lots of supplies and toys, I guess you would say. I have rock painting toys. <laughs> um, but it's, it's been an accumulation over the years, but I still use 50 cent craft paint for the most part. Most of my colors are 50 cent craft paint from Walmart. Um, like the glitter paints, like I'm using right now, I'm taking a dotting tool with glitter paint and just outlining um, this, the, the, um, the border of this rock. And this is, let me show you, this is the finished, what it will look like. And this is a champagne glitter, so it's really nice and kind of elegant. Um, and yeah, so let's see what you've got. You said you had so many art supplies from homeschooling. Oh, okay, yeah, I bet you did. And you were looking for something to do with it all, so painting rocks seemed like a thing. Oh, I'm so glad you found this. That's so cool. And you've got googly eyes. Um, so... Our local groups typically will discourage, we discourage the use of googly eyes, and so I'll give you my opinion on it, and, and you can t take what you want from it. And the reason why we discourage it, we discourage any kind of glue on, like uh, rhinestones are another thing that people will use. Um, and we discourage it because um, even though we get them on there pretty good, um, say you take it and you hide it in a local park and there's um, birds in the park. Birds see that and think it might be food and they'll peck at it and they could potentially eat it and then um, it becomes an environmental hazard. So that's the main reason that we don't, we don't encourage that in our group. We don't allow posts with those just because we wanna make sure that it's as environmentally friendly as, as we can be. Um, there are some really cool ways to make googly eyes. I think I have like a one or two minute video on it actually where you can use dotting tools to make the same look as googly eyes. Good point, glitter edges, they could peck at this too. So I um, actually seal with resin more so than the um, spray sealer now. That's how I started was with the spray sealer. Um, and the resin, creates, um, this one has resin on it. It's kind of hard to see on this. The lighting in here is bad, but so it kind of evens out where there, you can't even feel the glitter edge on this anymore because the resin is there and the resin is harder than the sealer. So that's a fair point though. Um, you're probably right. Um, should probably give some thought to that too. Um, the googly eyes tend to stick up a little bit more. So, um, there's probably a fine line there. You're right. <laughs> Um, but you can make some really cute googly eyes or eyeballs in general with um, dotting tools. And if you don't have dotting tools, um, yes, the resin is super shiny. That's why I love it. Um, it's shiny and it's hard. It gives a really nice protectant coat to it. Um, but spray sealer works really good too. And you can do multiple coats of that as well. And it's just as, um, I think it protects the rocks. You probably don't want to put them out without sealing them because if they get rained on surprisingly this craft paint holds up fairly well to the environment because we've had some that ended up in our yard 
because the little one threw them out there before um, they got sealed and it actually holds up fairly decently but if you you know we want to make sure the paint holds up so that spray sealer or a resin um, helps that a lot um, but resin resin can be addictive I think I held off for a long time because it um, I use art resin most often and it takes three days to cure so that's kind of a bummer you kind of have to plan out and not want your your rocks to go out into the world right away but it's I think the most non-toxic of all of them and you do have to mix it there's a resin and a hardener and you mix them together um, in equal parts um, so I, I was afraid of it for a long time and I had it had it had it didn't use it and then once you use it you're like it's like you can never go back <laughs> um, which is pretty cool okay two more no one more one more just this guy get a little bit more glitter and we're almost done here so yeah feel free to poke around the channel and I started this channel when the pandemic hit last year um, totally understandable about being nervous about it most of us are cool Legos dude nice um, don't Sammy careful oh. you're knocking things down we're good set it down no no I want to be like a news person like a news person but we're not on the news <laughs> silly don't, don't 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 poke that you'll break it don't please don't so yeah, totally nervous, I mean totally nervous, totally normal to get nervous about resin. Um, Sammy is moving the microphone here so I may get really loud, sorry. Um, but it's it's pretty cool and it, it does provide a really nice um, shiny coating on the, on the rock. So I definitely, when I do gifts, I definitely use the resin. I can't see what I'm doing because you're blocking me away. Hold on. This is how we know we're almost done. This little ones imploding. I know. Because <laughs> I really know. Wait, Mama, are you supposed to talk into this? Oh, yes. Rock painting is totally regular for me. I feel out of sorts if I don't do it on any given weekend, to be honest. If I don't yes. get to paint, at least on the weekends, I feel like I missed out on something. Um. I find that if I have a rough day or a rough week, this is this is my thing. Um, and where I normally paint, I'm set up kind of in our kitchen living room area, so I'm still able to like, like if we're having a family movie night, I can paint rocks while we're watching the movie and I'm still, you know, engaged with my family and just doing this at the same time and it just recenters me, it's nice. So, okay. So I think we've accomplished all of these rocks. Oh my gosh, kiddo with this microphone. <laughs> I know. You're so silly. So I think we are about wrapped up for today. Today. Um, I'm so glad that you made it. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. I'm so glad you made it. And <laughs> we are going to be wrapping up because we are gonna be wrapping up. someone needs some attention if you cannot you tell already. Someone needs some attention like you see. <laughs> so thank you for so, stopping by. And thank check you out. for stopping by. What do you want to tell them? What have you said in some of the videos? What do you tell people? Oh, now you're getting shy. Check out some of the other videos. and um, <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. There you go. You can subscribe so that you'll get notified when there's new videos. Um, I try and put new videos up every Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday. So, okay. So, are you ready to say bye? Yes. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.